Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, guys, a very interesting turn of events. What we've got um, is not only has Turkey officially um, announced that MBS uh, was the perpetrator who had given direct instructions for the murder, the alleged murder of Khashoggi, and uh, there will be quite a few of you who will understand exactly what I mean by alleged. As far as I'm concerned, this whole debacle is a uh, psyop, it's a farce. And there was actually no murder, but it was for the benefit of the Ummah, so that they can uh, again further just uh, create a very clear division between um, the camp that's, um, um, well, Erdogan's camp, which would be significantly the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, and those who uh, suffer the nostalgia of the good old days, the great days of the Ottoman Khalafa. Uh, they're using that and exploiting that against us almost as though they're trying to uh, create a revival and then what you've got again which is I guess and because of this you'll see the consequences of this in the ensuing days is that United Nations have openly now come out and said that MBS was the murderer on the other flip side what we have just seen today witnessed is this uh, uh, another smaller psyop unfold and inshallah ta'ala it's not it's a false flag it's a well it's a it's a hoax and that a child a six-year-old child was murdered a Shia child was murdered in the sacred precinct in Medina subhanallah I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that this is false news but again this is to create that uh, sectarian uh, division between the Shia within who live within Saudi and then across the border in Iran and everywhere else uh, against the uh, uh, the Arabs and this is uh, to cause that civil unrest and the war that's going to happen soon. If our timeline, timelines are right, what we're going to see is everything unfold in a sham where they want to then push us towards Erdogan's camp, subhanAllah, right? And um, uh, just yesterday I was sat with some friends and interesting enough, they were, they were totally, totally hypnotically mesmerized by the series that's on um, Netflix, I'm told. I can't, I don't... Uh, Atatuk or something, um, Wallahu alam what it's called. But it seems not only they, but ulama, everyone are really like drawn to this and a, a lot of Muslims are. And we've got to understand that these are all huge, huge, huge psyops against the Muslim Ummah because they want us to become nostalgic, right? They want us to become jazbati. And the fact that they're using tools which are which belong to essentially to a Dajjal, to uh, Iblis Lanatullah, which is the kind of Hollywood um, uh, studios, uh, drama, acting, subhanAllah, the, all this acting comes into lies by the way, uh, Islamically subhanAllah, and you've got all of this and it's done through the medium of a, um, um, a series, and through that series what they're doing is again just manipulating hearts and minds, right, just to push them further into that camp. Right? And this division on the flip side has been created, subhanAllah, in Saudi, within the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And then you've got this, um, they're trying to create, again, another Hegelian dialectic. So we need to understand this. We need to understand what the Hegelian dialectic really is. There can't be sides. And we have to get out of this whole um, um, box that they've got us in, subhanAllah. We've got to get out of that and look at it from a vantage point. Uh, whilst you're basically taking a side, they're controlling you. Because both sides are part of the control dialectic. I'll give you an example of that, subhanAllah. Today, um, uh, one of the ulama who um, whose family has got permanent, mashallah, um, qiyam in Masjid al-Nabawi. His father does the halaka at Masjid al-Nabawi. Um, uh, Molana, um, he, he, here you go, Hijaz, he's basically on the science distribution list as well. And what what... what he shared with me today, and he says, and with it is the caption, Kuch Samaj Me Aya, right? So, what is this? What is Samaj Me Aya? Because we were still falling for the same nonsense. What you've got over here is these guys playing a submissive role to the Pope, and then you've got uh, over here the Pope playing a submissive role to Erdogan. This is, they're trying to psychologically, um, again, manipulate the Ummah, right? Right? They want to push the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah into this camp. Because this camp is going to be taken to Israel, right, to their deaths. 
very soon. And this camp, they're both, both these camps, look at my arrow, both of them are in bed with the same camps here. The people that they're coercing and manipulating is the Ummah. Understand this, it's a clear game. It's a very clear game of thrones and it's clear as daylight. I can clearly see it. And unfortunately, we can't. SubhanAllah, we can't. It's ajeeb how much we're being played, SubhanAllah. And over here, this is going to be a huge... I mean, this guy's the poster child. The poster child to the uh, intentions of the shayateen in instant jinn for the Muslim Ummah. Through him, and uh, yesterday I shared an, uh, a vlog with the ulama ikram about um, um, Pompeo uh, by default, and there was no serendipity there, it was deliberate, but again, by default, officially at least, um, had shown a map depicting uh, a divide of Turkey, uh, a division of Turkey, and how the populace there didn't really take it lightly and weren't amused in the least, as they wouldn't be. But this again kind of showed or maybe on a predictive programming kind of level uh, subconsciously what their intentions are for that particular region and how Constantinople will be taken from the Muslim Ummah. Um, uh, but again, uh, he's going to serve into the role in order to hand it over to them, gift wrapped. Hand it over to all of these people, gift wrapped. This is the game, this is what's happening. And unfortunately, we can't see any of it, subhanAllah. I've got ulama ikram from Medina, Munawwara, sharing pretty much. I mean, again, so again, we're still suffering that um, psychological profiling, which is of the Hegelian dialectic, the two sides, right? The thesis, the antithesis, and the synthesis is theirs, right? That's the idea. Uh, we've got to get out of that and really look at uh, things for what they really are. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Anyway, jazakallahu khayn wa asana 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 jaz